Welcome to another episode of the Squared Circle in association with WWE Universe Bangladesh. I'm Shahnur and this time, you know what? We've got the two best people here. Exactly, the two people that matter. This so, is Ahmed Mashroom. Uh, yeah, hi. And he's the admin from WWE UBD. Yeah. And uh, this time, today we're, or tonight, we're talking about the internet wrestling community known as the IWC. What is it, Mashroom? Internet wrestling is a fans who are people who are going to the events, paying the money, buying the t-shirts and watching the product and loving it. I don't know if internet online streaming websites so when it comes to the IWC, Akon, we see a lot of people that support heels, faces, and winners and stuff like that. They predict the matches. Yeah. They do a lot of things, right? So has IWC played a big part in changing, changing the way we view progress? I mean, what is IWC's biggest effect to be the is the one night stand, the one where John Cena got booed out of the building. 2006. 2006, 2005. I don't know. Everybody knows the match. John Cena versus Rob Van Dam for the exactly. WWE Championship. Uh, the ECW fans, kinto actually they no longer exist. They they went out of business with the company a long time ago. Which was around the 2000. 2000 mark. Yeah. But oi time jara chilo kine they were the smart marks. They were the internet people. Jara went there with the sole purpose of booing John Cena. And ever since that. Anywhere John Cena has gone, it's 50-50. Let's go Cena, Cena sucks. Now sometimes it's 70-30, 80-20. 80-20, if you go to England, he gets pulled out of the building. So that is when you see how the IWC came into prominence from that moment onwards. That's what I think. Right, so what is this IWC? Again, you know, if we want to delve into it, it's basically the internet wrestling community. There's a community of people that watch the wrestling and then they analyze it on the internet. They're all keyboard warriors ready to type why Cena sucks and why Jericho rocks or why CM Punk is the greatest or why Chris scale, Ben Wow. On a large scale, scale, everybody who's talking about wrestling on the internet should be called the internet wrestling community, but Bala Haina because of you know these certain people who have their special preferences. Mm. And I think I think the IWC term, this is a little off topic, but this is actually very true. WWE went and saw that this is the IWC, right? So what are we? We're the WWE universe. Like community? Uh, exactly. Maybe it's more yeah, you know, universe. Fine. Yeah, exactly. this is That's Vince's really way of saying screw you. <laughs> the, the, the thing about IWC is, if you think about it, I think they have ruined pro wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it, because they don't take wrestling the way it's supposed to be taken. They don't take winners as winners. They think of that person as a person who has been strongly booked. They don't think of John Cena as a 15 time champion, they think of John Cena as a man, as a man who has been given the title 15 times. That is not the true essence of pro wrestling, would you agree with that? No, I would disagree with that. I would actually say that IWC has added a new dimension to the sport and we call it sports entertainment these days. But the thing is, like, you have fans that understand what's going on behind the scenes and then you have fans that are also just watching the product because they want to see Cena win, Cena defeat the big show or Cena, you know, overcome the odds again, you know. Yeah. Not everybody analyzes a series. And let, let's face it, everyone watches Sherlock, yeah. right? But how many we people... Don't go behind the scenes. Exactly. But how many people actually understand every nuance of it, you know? A cinematographer will view Sherlock from a different angle exactly. than, let's say, a director or then let's say a fan of Sherlock or then let's say someone that's just watching the television series because of the hype. Some may even be watching it without understanding what Sherlock is talking about or you know what half the scene is just watching it because no, 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 it looks This nice. is like beating around the bush. What I'm really saying is if you think of it, let's just cut straight to the chase. If the IWC were as dominant as they are now back let's say during 94, 95, 96, 97, mm -hmm. guys like The Rock who have limited in-ring skills mm -hmm. to, some, to, to, to the IWC to compared to the IWC I, I think, I think, I think uh, you're talking about a wrong example like, You talk about the ultimate warrior Yeah, he, he wouldn't have been, he would have been buried under, under the IWC uh, umbrella 
uh, just because he's a, a six six feet five, two hundred plus something guy, mm -hmm. and he's all and he's the steroid guy that I usually don't like. But the he can't speak on the mic. He can't speak on the he mic. He can't wrestle. He can't wrestle. Now that, that's what I want to ask you, Jay. What's your definition of wrestling? Because I've seen guys like CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio tell that John Cena is one of the best wrestlers in the world. The IWC disagrees with that. Why? What's their definition? Because the IWC doesn't always understand what wrestling is. I think wrestling is a bigger term. You know, like uh, if you want to watch wrestling, go watch amateur wrestling. Yeah, exactly. You know? that, that's wrestling. Yeah. Do you, would you rather watch two guys beat the hell out of each other? Hurricane Rana, Hurricane Rana, Flip Flapjack, and all that. Yeah, you, you know, like no, calling no, every here, Here's a recent example. There was something called Wrestle Kingdom 9 or something. That's a New Japan Pro Wrestling promotion. And they were, the IWC were ecstatic about the match because there were nine frog splashes in the match. Nine frog splashes in the match. That takes the value away from the move. Move, so yeah. why are we excited about that, or why? But that's that's that something is? very deep. I think in general, yeah, I have that's, that's a whole problem because yeah. guys like Cesaro, guys like Daniel Bryan, now they're being favored more because they use moves that are like let's say more acrobatic. But is acrobatics what wrestling is all about? It's not. It's about the story behind what's happening. You know, someone like Miz wouldn't have main evented exactly. WrestleMania. Because Miz isn't the most acrobatic or athletic, but he can no, tell a very exactly. good story no, in the ring. That's the whole point. Yeah. I don't need yeah. to understand that. And Why Shawn Michaels called, let's say, the showstopper? Because of his storytelling ability. Because of his storytelling ability. He doesn't have so the largest. I, I would have understood if the IWC had a liking for, let's say, technical groundless wrestlers. But the thing is, let, let me give you two examples. You have Daniel Bryan. Okay, he's loved by the IWC, okay, because he's a fantastic in ring performer. You have Dolph Ziggler, whose wrestling skills are pretty much mediocre. But his selling is awesome. Selling is amazing, but that's a different thing. That doesn't actually fall into the typical technical wrestler periphery. And third example is Dean Ambrose. He's just a violent extreme wrestler who's more suited for the hardcore division of the Attitude Era. Mm. So these are the three preferred golden boys of the IWC, and they have nothing in common. So why are these guys getting the nod ahead of guys like Roman Reigns, or let's say uh, The Miz, or let's say anybody who isn't exactly uh, connecting with the crowd, the IWC crowd. Okay, now your point is very construed to just let's say what the IWC thinks, because the IWC doesn't what make... What makes them better? What makes these guys better than everybody well, else? First of all, they don't call the shots. They don't call the shots. Um, WWE, WWE does. does. What makes these guys such fan favorites amongst the internet wrestling community? Exactly. One is one is perhaps they all look like underdogs. All right. Underdogs, yeah, exactly. Ziggler not very big. Um, Brian not very big. So the thing is, they look like underdogs, and you know they they do connect to a certain extent because IWC most of them I think they can relate to an underdog you know someone that's a right. that's someone that's, that's, that's a keyboard warrior no offense to anyone that's a common trait yeah. I, I, I can understand that yeah. everyone who's an underdog is liked by the uh, IWC so, exactly. so do you think that the WWE are going to start pushing all the underdogs from now onwards? No, no, no. It's is it not the end it's of powerhouses? Is it the end of dominance? Look at, look at Roman Reigns He's being pushed but for how long? I think How long will he get I moved? think I think that's an issue that the IWC needs to handle. That Roman Reigns just gets booed by let's say I, I see so much hate from WWE yeah, exactly. Bangladesh from, 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 from your group. group. Yeah, he's called Roman Reigns for, for no reason. Yeah, dude has the look. Give him some time. He has some impressive set of moves. So what would have happened to the Undertaker if you guys were like this? He <laughs> wouldn't have existed. He would have probably turned into Bobby Phoenix. Exactly. So anyways, let us know uh, what you thought. I think we pretty much uh, came to a conclusion that the IWC is important, but... But it's biased. It is biased, yeah. It's not your wrestling bible. Welcome to another episode of WWE Universe Bangladesh brought to you by, wait, the square circle. <laughs>